Hello and welcome everyone, I'm C.S. Gilmore and this is the Talos Principle. We're about to head into world B2, where we get to start playing with some fans. So, this should work. I see all. I know all. My power knows no bounds. And yet your will is free, because you were made to be free. It is the very principle of your existence, without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. To seek salvation must be your choice. Mm -hmm. Okay then, mister. Oh, this one's got... Th I know this level. Uh, It's got some really awesome Easter eggs, if I can remember how to find them. There's a lot. First, let's deal with this, though. Science. Magic. Though the term science has only meant what it does f to us for around 600 years, its practice far predates the name. There is evidence pre-Aristotle which indicates soothsayers, mystics, and the like may have employed basic scientific methods to predict the future and confound their benefactors. One anecdote conforms, concerns a palm reader who was exposed when two wealthy clients compared their readings and found them to be identical. In 1948, the tendency to discover deep personal meaning in vague descriptions delivered authoritative, authoritatively, I can't say that right, right see, it seems, was given a name, the Forer Effect. Today it is recognized in all contemporary psychological theory. Weight loss. This sounds like something interesting. Oh man, if there's one thing that's good about inevitable death, it's the food. Yeah, baby. I'm going to have all the horrible, horribly unhealthy food in the world. I'm going to feast on jelly bananas? Like a crazy monkey on monkey Christmas. And you know those muffins that have so much chocolate they're basically melting? That's going to be my breakfast. And bur and burgers for lunch. I'm gonna have burgers so greasy you could use them to lubricate a whole factory. Triple bacon burgers with double cheese and extra onions and mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and big fat juicy patties and then oily thick pizza with spicy salami and barbecue sauce and olives and jalapenos and sour cream. Food coma here I come. I like his view on life for oh I'm gonna die I might as well go out oh, eating some great like eating happy. Fascinated by Drennan's project, lovely conversation, reply. Talos principle, Greek philosophy, philosophy, relevance to current situation. Suggested naming project Talos. Drennan refused, but name seems to have caught on with the team. Tens of thousands of files coming in every hour, our whole history. Mm, pretty in-depth. Okay. Now then, I saw that uh, time capsule over here. Let's grab that next. I keep having these dreams. Great empty cities. Silent roads stretching for miles. The earth from space, all dark. Not a single light to guide me home. But if someone really came from another world, what would the earth look like to them? A wilderness? A wasteland? I don't think so. Even after thousands of years, they'd see a world shaped by our hand in every aspect of its being. They'd see the cities and the roads, the bridges, the harbors, and they would say, here lived a race of giants. These dreams, they scare me, but they also remind me that we built all of this. Okay. Now there's a ton of Easter eggs in this place. I hope I can find even a few of them. Only I could remember how to. Okay, first things first. Let me take a look over here. Jump on, and it blasts me over there. Okay, that's right, okay. I think I remember this vaguely. Um, let me see if I can do this right. 
not quite. If you do it right, you should be able to, if I remember right, you should be able to get on top of that pillar you, that I fly by. Ah, how was it done? There should be a way to get up there. Anyway, if you get up there, you can reach uh, another area. How was it done? Let me try the other fan. Maybe this one will be better spaced. Ah, okay, I hit a pillar, I just didn't stop. Ah, bother, how is it done? Almost, 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 almost. Let me just do a little something here. Wait, no, that won't work. What would it? Okay, well, anyway, I'll grab this and then I'll get back to trying to find that. Figure that out. Um, so I'll put a skip here while I work this out. Okay, everyone, um, I'm going to come back to this one to figure it out. I I figured out how to get up onto the area up above where I was trying to get, but I forgot that there was another element to the thing uh, in which I need... Well, let me see if I can... So, if you look... I can't really see it from here. Anyway, there's, an, I, there's a thing up on those pillars up there, and... But I need a key to activate it, and I can't remember where the key is. So for now, I'm going to just continue with these other puzzles. And I'll come back to that one. I'll either look, I'll look it up if I have to, to, yeah, figure this out, all out. Because I want to show you that. It's a really awesome little uh, Easter egg. So let's see here. Let's put that there and that there for now, just to get an idea of what's in here. This would be a good place to hide things. Okay, there's the sigil over there. There's this. Not the key I need for the thing. At least not that I'm aware of. So yeah, here in this one you have to use this tower a lot to, and just the high ground in general to move everything around in a way you can get through. Aha! Okay, so I got through here. Where was that key? Child program codename Faith terminated here. Logic worshipped the designer for such days and allowed the serpent into its heart. Final memory dump. I ask the designer for forgiveness that I may join him in the eternal memory. I guess someone met their end here. Seems we're all connected somehow, like distant rela family relations. Different versions, different series. What are we? Who cares? Just be grateful that we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. <laughs> Alright, looks like my next step is to unlock that. Let me take a look at where everything's at here. Okay, let's me, let me look in here first because I think I need to adjust some things. Okay, I think I get it. No, I don't. Um, hmm. Close that for the moment. Because I need to open that. That needs to stay there and that there. Huh. 
I have too many doors and not enough jammers. From what I'm seeing, anyway. Can I get over here and... Yeah, okay, so from here I could unlock that. Okay, I think I see what I need. So... Hmm. Okay, for now I'll just go through there. I'm missing a piece, I think, still, because something's... I'm still missing something I need to get through all this. Okay, I wasn't missing any uh, jammers in here. Don't believe? Nope, doesn't look like it. So... Huh... I need this over here in order to get through here. Oh, okay, I see. I need to go in there first. For a very specific reason. I have to go in and I have to jam one of the orbs for a while. Not to, like, keep it jammed, but rather to break its synchronicity with the other orb. So that they'll be going, uh... At different times from each other and then when I run through there I can get through so let that go there do 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 I think that will do it good and I need a jam the same to do the same thing with those okay question is, how do I get through all of those gates? Oh, I know. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. First, let me deal with this. And... There. Okay, let those break apart a bit. One, two, three. Okay. So this one needs to go here, blocking that open, because otherwise I can't get anywhere. I need this open there for the moment, because next I need to go through here. Jam that open. Now I can grab this one again. Open this gate. Wait, mother, I must not have clicked it right. Because <sighs> that should have been jamming that one open. Alright, let's try this again. That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, jam. Yes, you're jamming it. You stay jamming it. It is jamming it. Now, open that one. There. Much better. Now it's working. Okay, so now I can go through here, grab this, get through here, into here, through that. Now I have to work with these. Oh, very carefully. Because if one of these hits me, I die, and it resets everything, and that would suck. Oh, I hope I gave enough distance between these two. I think I did. Ho ho, good. Okay, now this one. La 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 la. Okay, good. Got it. Oh boy. That was pretty intense. Looks like nothing new here. Hi, bye. Oh boy, that was intense. Um, there's a couple things hidden in here, I think. I can remember where. I'm convinced there are answers here if we look hard enough. We have to work together on this. Okay, so I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these sigils. I don't get why. Sure, the load, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world of his has no context, no purpose, and no foundations from which to construct them. Uh, okay. Now then. 
Where is everything I need? Go through here. Go through here. Yeah, this is a little bit of a balancing act between items I have. Now that to here. Jam that. That to here. That and that. Good. Okay. Through. Now, what have I got to work with in here? Another one of these. But I don't have what I need to get this here, so I have to bring the jammer around. Which means doot and doot. Oops. Doot, doot, and that. Okay, those are all open now. Now I can take the jammer and run all the way over here with it. To there. Done. Easy enough. I know there's a secret in here. Where was it? Ah, here it is. And you get the jammer over here. So run all the way back around. Okay. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, there's a bit of a, some secret stuff up here. Um, there's a star, which means I need to get a red laser up here. I forget how that's done. But here's where the star is hidden, so we know that much. Okay, let me take this one. And let me run this up here to there. Okay. So that's there. I can get out on here. I need to find... Oh, I need to find a red laser I can bounce in here. From the look of things. Uh, there is more to this place, though. I can go over here. And where was it? Not down there. It goes across here. Aha, secret passage. Hopefully this won't reset everything and I'll have to redo it. So, you find this bed, you can use it. <laughs> you robot stream of electric sheep. Very cleverly done. And I wake up back here. Oh, here's another paint can. Let me just toss this on something. Apparently, a lot of these places don't want to put stuff down. Did I not grab the pink can? Oh, I didn't grab the pink can. That's what happened. Wrong button. Okay. Must have accidentally dropped it. Alright. Let's just toss this on here. Alright. Good. Oh, hi. You're back. This is going to be a long episode. Sorry, everyone. There's a lot to this place. Here's what I've been wondering while you were off carrying out commandments. You've suggested that consciousness is not part of the same world as ordinary physical th things. That means you can't weigh it. You can't throw it around or cut it into pieces. It's completely beyond the laws of physics, right? Right. Good. Now the library is fairly consistent on the view that physical events are caused by other physical events. If you move your legs, it is because of the interaction between your neurons and your nervous system. But if consciousness is beyond the laws of physics, how can happiness physically make you jump for joy? It can't, it just feels like it can. I'm gonna go with that. Very clever. 
But do you see that to explain your, dare I say it, hostile, hastily constructed belief system, you have rather thrown the baby out with the bathwater? Consciousness that does nothing at all is hardly consciousness as you claim to know it. Would you like to stick with that line or reel your neck in? I'm gonna stick with it. Be it on your head, still, the alternatives are equally unconvincing. I know not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. His wisdom is hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Okay. Have faith in me, and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. Okay, still, the alternatives are equally unconvincing. How consciousness can be so intimately familiar to you and yet so obscure, I just don't understand. Don't mind him. He's just worried that if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his shtick. Stick with me, and the sky will quite literally be the limit. At any rate, I'd like you to think a bit harder about all this, and then... And get back to me. I'm sure there will, there's still progress to be made. There. Yeah. Okay. So making some progress there. Very interesting. Ah, uh, this feels like this feels familiar as to being the one I need for some of the stuff. No. I still am missing something. So I could hit there from here. Just a matter of how could I get everything I... Oh, I can. I know how to do it now. Um, okay. One second while I get into that star. Then I'll come back to that puzzle, solve it, and hopefully find the key in the process that I need in order to get into the other Easter egg. I hope. Okay, I need to go get the jammer. And jam this because I need you to extend my reach out into the, the area a bit better. You go here and here. Okay, got it, got it. Good, and place this here. I'm so glad that they, uh, doing the electric sheep thing didn't reset my progress. That makes things so much easier and quicker. So, okay, I got that. Now, this here and... Where is that piece? Okay, see it. Ah, man, so close. Where is it? Oh, I think I understand. So, can I lock onto it here? There, okay. Now, if I do that here though, does it connect? Getting close. Okay, got it. Actually, I don't think that was the way I was supposed to do it. Maybe not, I don't know. I think that I was supposed to use that, uh, that box in there and... There. Anyway, got the star. Yeah, I think what I was supposed to do is use the box in here to uh, lift the laser up into the sky so it could reach. But that seems to work too. So yeah, I think that was what I was supposed to do. Because I could have done this. After hooking it up, somehow... Uh, eh, maybe not. Anyway. Yeah, then you can lift that up and it'll affect things a little better. That's how you get in here. Go here. Lock onto that. That there. Right now it can't connect because walls are in the way, but the fans are super useful because then you can do this. And voila. Shooting that over the lock. And I'm still missing a key. Where is that key that I need? Um. Hmm. I'm going to attempt something. A 
Okay, that didn't lift me very high. I have a feeling I'm missing the key here somewhere. Unless it was... Oh, could it have been up there? Uh, this is so hard to work out. Jump up there now, though. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where this is. I'm gonna go look this up real quick, so, uh, one second. Because I really want to show you that, uh, Easter egg. It's really awesome. Trust me. It is super awesome. Let me just check and see if I've gotten everything else here so far. Yeah, I've gotten everything else here, so it's just that last easter egg that I want to show you. So yeah, I'll be right back. Please hold. Okay everyone, I think I've got it worked out now. So... It sounds like... Yeah, I see that there. First I need a red laser. Which means, so let's run back over here. Okay. And there's a, if you look up there, there's a connector area on the moon. Really weird, I know. But, ah, nope, that's not what I wanted. Connector area in the moon. Okay, I forgot about the connector on the moon completely, but there's that, so... Then I can activate that. Okay, so that's got power now. And that's important because... Well, actually, I suppose I could make getting that one done a lot easier, too. But... Now I go in here, and I'll just fly across this. Go over here, and... This thing up here, this viewer thing, you need a key for it. And the key's right over here in this puzzle. So you grab this key, you get up here, you go through over here, this one on the left. Whoop, uh, I messed that up. Uh, what I found works is run up to here and it has space, so press space, turn around and hold back. But you do it right, and if you hold back too much you can, you won't get there, but hold your way back a bit, then you can run along these. Whoa dear, and I fell. Oh, hi. So, yeah, that powers that and the moon turns around and... Aperture Science! Portal! Sadly, I missed the world, the moon turning around, but I didn't realize I had started yet. I guess it just took a little while to build up. Anyway... You may have to hold left a little bit also while you fly, just to make sure you... Uh, end up on the pillar. Okay, there we go. <sighs> this is a pain. Okay. That held it too much. So you see my problem. Not enough. It can be really hard to balance it out. But when you do, you get up there and it, it it's worth it. In my opinion. Uh, too much. I was almost there too. Okay, I'm up. Go here, jump across here, run across here. Let's get this a little better lined up. Run across here. Okay, now I've got the key. I've got that done. Now I can get this activated. And look up to the moon. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere, I know. Okay. And, and up. Up. Over. Oh, where is it? 
Okay, that tree up and over a little bit from there. Almost there. Okay. So here's this. And there should be a little extra Easter egg mix it. There you are. So if you've ever played Portal 2, you know who that is and why that's there. So it's an Easter egg within an Easter egg of sorts. I can't remember if he's visible if, if you don't turn the moon around, but anyway, definitely a big shout out to Portal. And well, Portal 2 specifically. And it's pretty awesome. I love that Easter egg. So that's done. If you ever fall down here, then there's a ladder to get up over here. And that's it for the Easter eggs I know about on this level. I know I've missed a bunch of Easter eggs. Even just looking up this one, I saw a bunch of others. It's like, yeah, you missed all these other ones here and here and here and here and here. And here. I'll maybe do an episode where I go through all the Easter eggs or something at some point. The other ones I, I don't know about off the top of my head. But for now, that's all I'm going to leave this. Nothing new here. We've got everything. Okay, see you in a bit. I love you. Love you too. And, uh... Yeah, so that's it for this episode. Um, I'll edit out those extra pieces. And... Otherwise, progressing nicely. That were, there was a lot to that. Um, man. Okay, I got everything, and next we'll go into number three, where we use a bit of everything, it looks like. At least everything that I've got unlocked so far. But thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, yell at me in the comments for stuff I missed, well, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!